Hi everyone, it's me Gigi. Welcome back. This is part five of the altered journal. I left you last time with this and then also I had started to do this and I found this trim and I think I want to do that like this. So let's go ahead and start doing this. I hope everyone's okay. Everything's okay over here. You know, a couple of my friends had been ill and, you know, thank God they're all doing well. I do know one of my um, friends that didn't make it, but may she rest in peace. Anyways, um, so let's see. Let me start here by doing this. And let me go all the way down. So how is everyone doing? I hope everyone's okay. It's just a crazy time right now. And can you believe it? Now we're getting closer to Christmas. I can't believe how fast this year has gone. Okay. There we go. That's what I want to do. Put the gold one there. I think that's going to be pretty. I'll put a little bit more over here. There. And I was looking for pink or something to that matter. And I decided to go with the red. I think it's very pretty. There's something else I must think about doing over here but let's do this real quick that way these are kind of tricky sometimes nope it's this way so what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of dots dots I should do my fabric tack glue here that works really well but I'm just gonna do a couple there flip it There we go. And let me see. I think I'll do it here. This one was a little bit twisted in, so I'll pull it up. There we go. I tried filming earlier, but there was so much racketeering. And then we never had the fire department really come here, and they came. I went to go take a peek, but I'm not sure what street they ended up on. So that's that right there. I still have to do something here. I'm going to leave this like this for now. And then I'll come back to it. And let's see. So then I started on this page. And what I did on this page, let me move this out of the way. Oops, my fingers have glue. What I started to do was, I added this here. I put these three pieces of flour. I put this with a little piece of lace, one of the papers here. And I think what I want to do is I want to add this right about here. So let's do this right now. Yep, this is, so put a little bit of glue. I need one of those tips on this because a lot of glue comes out. Okay. I'm thinking of putting a little piece of lace on the bottom. I think I'll do it like this. So I'll put that there. You know, we all know this is one of those Tim Holtz. Okay. Yeah, it just came out through there. Came out through here. Let me get my paper towel here. So I added this on this page, and like I said, now we're adding this here. I had thought that I would add a little piece of lace up here, and I'm still gonna do it. Let's see. Let me put a couple of drops. We had some rain a couple of nights ago. 
which is very rare for us in the desert. Well, I shouldn't say it's rare. We do get rain, but not as often. And um, three o'clock in the morning, it was thundering. So now it's a bit humid. Okay, so I have that. I had, I thought I had a little piece of, here it is, crochet tape. Crochet, crochet, doily. I think I'll do that. And put this here. So my friend MJ is back and she's already on part seven. I hope you all go take a peek at her channel. I'm glad she's back and doing well. Okay, I'm gonna put that doily here, piece of doily. I wanted to, I made this. I think I'm still gonna do that. Let me hang it right about there. So I took some ribbon and what I did was, this is vintage ribbon, and what I did was I just I should show you, like I took a piece of ribbon. This is sorry silk, but I went like this, like this, like this, and then I went like this. And all I did was I took it in the middle and I stapled it. And when I stapled it, it I kind of stapled it over this way, like that. And I ended up with that and I like that. I like the simplicity of it. So, let's see, I had cut, I'm going to put this here, I kind of like that little bit there, maybe I'll just stick it on the bottom, where there's still a little bit of glue, there, this is just uh, from the edge of a piece of material that I tore, it's the little strings, and so I'm just using it now as part of a decoration. So you could do all kinds of things. This was the little piece of material that I had. And so that's the little string that came out of it when I tried to fray it. Okay, let's see. So now, I think I'm going to put this little piece on top. So I have this little piece. It's also a piece of crochet. A crochet doily, I should say. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this vintage button there. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. And put the drop there and then stick that there. There. So see, now I have this. So this is the other page. And then I'm going to go on this one. But since this is still a little wet, I'm going to wait on it. I'm sure I'll probably end up adding something else to this. Okay. There. There. So now, I had started on this one. You could tell where I tore it, but it's okay. Um, did the pocket. So what I'm going to do is when I glue her down, I'm just going to glue around. So actually, we'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll put a little bit of glue here. So now it doesn't get stuck to the pocket. And then we'll put a little bit of glue on her. Right here. Make sure I don't put some right there. That would be silly. And I close the, the pocket. Okay. And then right here on her little legs. And on this side. So all I did was I took one of the pieces of the, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the pieces of the digital, and that that right there, cut it out. Actually, I kind of tore it out. I put a piece of the wallpaper of the digital. There's my music sheet. And so let's place her real quick here. And I want to put her here. There we go. So there she is and put her down and then I did put um, this is also Tim Holtz 
some left from his and I'm gonna tape that down not tape it down but glue it down hold it down and then this is a piece of um, it's, it's from another digital and it had writing on it and I just decided to put it there this is a piece from underneath one of the uh, picture digitals so we'll do that so I have that there and then I'll come back and do a little bit more embellishing but that's what I decided to do there and what I am going to do is I'm going to close this pocket I'm going to put her costumes in here so or dresses dress up costumes so we'll put a little tad here and we'll do another little tad over here this little tad's coming out a little bit too much okay then we'll glue this okay and in here of course i'll put her little dress up dresses and then i'm going to take her take this one out and i'm going to do the same for this I'll just put a little hopefully not too much comes out there we go it doesn't really need that much because it will these glues are pretty um strong there we go just a little more there we go and then glue that part down okay. and if you have sticky fingers the way i do because i already put my hands on the glue what you could do is you could get a clothespin and hold it together and it will stick it down I know I have a whole bunch of clothespins, but of course, when you need them or you want them, they're not around. But that's going to stay. Okay. So that's that. So that's that page. Oh, you know, I'm going to use this. Let me go ahead and see where I have some more of. Oh, here we go. I have it right here. wooden clothespins. These are the little ones. They work perfect. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Whoops. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you guys are okay. We didn't give anyone a headache. I'm going to do that. And one more over here. So that will glue down perfectly. I think I cut the other page. I did. There. Now I have this, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit on that one. Let me see. And I did start on this over here. I think I'll go ahead. I'm going to glue this down on this part really quick. Just okay. So start with your ephemera. If you have flowers, do the flowers. If you have um, a Halloween one that you're doing, do the Halloween part. Uh, do your Christmas one and just go for it. So here's this. I'm just going to put it down like this. This needs a little bit more here. There we go. And then this, I think what I decided I was going to make a booklet. And even though this is here, I want to make a booklet to put on top here. So I'll do that. And I think since I have this here, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And then this way I could use the clothespins. That I have on there. Okay. So what I did was I backed this up 
like I'm just on another blue piece of paper. I'm going to move this out of the way real quick. Put this down. And since this is, this can help here, here. Let's put one more. So that's that and then I will most likely do this and then I'm going to put this little piece of paper here I'm gonna put it on. yeah I'm gonna put it here so, good let's try this so, and it's also a piece of the wallpaper from uh, Lorna Taylor's made by Lo made by Taylor Taylor made oh my god thank sorry Lorna and um, it's part of her wallpaper collection but like I said it was really bright and I just toned it down with distress ink the vintage one Vintage photo distress. And just have fun with it like this. So now I'm going to. This is ABC. I thought of putting this like this. This is part of that vellum collection. I think I am going to do it. The only thing about the vellum is that the glue shows a little bit. I'll show you a page that I did. And the glue shows a little bit, so I'm just going to put it a little bit sparingly. There we go. And then this is, I cut this out. And I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add them like this. I'm going to glue you down right now. Okay. bit more glue afterwards but right now they're doing really good and then I will put a little bit of glue here there we go A little bit there. There we go. And here. That. I'm just going to hold it like that for a little bit. I'm going to clean this nozzle because now the glue is coming out a little bit too much. And yes, this is the best glue ever. But you need the little metal nozzle on there or else it's just going to continue to fall apart. Okay, let me throw this away. I didn't realize. Have a few little crumbs. So there it is. Um, actually, I need to glue this down. And I wanted to 
Yep, that's not gonna go there. I think this and this might go together. So there we go. I'm gonna put something else through here. Okay, that's that. That's her right there. That's this. I like this page, it's very simple. I'm gonna do something over here. Oh, I have this here. Let's see. I thought I wanted to do like a collage. But I think I need something on the bottom. I don't know, maybe I wanna put a little piece of lace. So maybe we'll come back to this. This I do like very much. I might need two little pieces over here. Let's see. What if I did like two little pieces right here? One, two, three, four, five, seven. We'll cut it real quick. Do two on top. I'm gonna go back with the best glue ever. I'm just, I'm just putting glue right in this little circle in case I decide to do something different or put something on the bottom. I don't think so. So I'll just put a little bit there. I'm gonna cut this little string here. And I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to glue it down right about here. There we go. There we go. I'm going to do that. I'm going to end up putting some things in there. So that's that, that's this. Oh yes, I want to do this. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this. I already put the vellum paper on top. I'm going to move it just a little bit and this is what I'm going to end up doing, putting it right in here. And then right in here, put a little bit of glue. I'm putting a little bit too much, but I want to make sure I get this down. And so I'm doing like this. This is on the bottom pocket, right? This is the second part of the pocket, but I'm not going to glue the vellum down. I'm just going to let it overhang because if I glue it down, then I won't I won't be able to put anything in that part of the pocket, which would not be bad. That would only mean that I can only use this little piece. But I decided I'll leave it like this. So this is glued. The vellum paper is like this, and then I have this up here. I'm probably gonna put a little ribbon at the edge of this, or some kind of little design like I said I was going to do with the other one. And then this way, you don't see part of that pocket, but you still know that it's there. Okay, maybe something like this. Or maybe something a little bit different. I think maybe more of a tan color. So I'm going to leave this like this. So I think for now, I don't know how long this video is going and I'm hoping I didn't make too much of a mess, but I will come back tomorrow, which is Thursday, and we're going to play along with more of this. So, thank you everyone. I hope everyone has a great night and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you click subscribe. And 
We'll see you soon. Have a great evening.